Prince Harry and Meghan have been in constant mediatic turmoil following the car chase that some claim it was just a farce, and now they are being called compulsive liars by British news host Dan Wooten. Both Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are in the news almost daily. Sometimes it's because of something that was said about them, or an event that they attended such as King Charles's coronation, where the Duke of Sussex went and left as soon as he could. Meghan and Harry are being called liars after the exaggeration of a car chase. Now they made headlines for reportedly exaggerating the paparazzi car chase. According to an insider that spoke for Meghan and Harry, they were engaged in a near-catastrophic car chase with paparazzi after they attended an event in New York last week. According to the source, this relentless pursuit, lasting over two hours, resulted in multiple near collisions involving other drivers on the road, pedestrians and two NYPD officers. As reported by the Australian edition of Sky News, there were some conflicting reports filled by the New York Police Department, which raised a brow from many people since the chase was considered short and there were no injuries. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex arrived at their destination and there were no reported collisions, summonses, injuries or arrests. The taxi driver says it would not qualify as a chase. Sukchan Singh drove the taxi for the royals and spoke to the Washington Post saying that, I don't think I would call it a chase. I never felt like I was in danger. It wasn't like a car chase in a movie. They were quiet and seemed scared, but it's New York. It's safe. Meanwhile, New York City Mayor Eric Adams mentioned that he found it hard to believe that a two-hour high-speed chase could happen in New York City.